Hey, it's the Maniac K1 GMM. Uh, changed the array over to a, I don't know what you call it, uh, it's a pseudo Moxon array. Uh, needed to reorient it towards the southwest, uh, south southwest more. So now we're pointed true southwest uh, and it seems to have helped. Um, I don't know if you could see it, but I've got uh, about 14.8 feet of each dipole. This is cut for 80 meters, uh, folded back, much like a Moxon rectangle, and 14.8 14 .8 feet uh, at the corners coming in uh, to the ends, and the ends are separated by a space of about 22 inches. Uh, see if I've been playing with a capacitive coupling, much like a Moxon works. Uh, but this antenna, it's basically two driven elements, um, exactly the same length, and uh, using a phasing system. And I will post a description of the phasing system, how I have it working. I'll also post an SWR sweep. There's a control box out there. Uh, I have the corners. This is a block, a block of wood, a couple blocks, uh, on, on pulleys. Through the trees so they free float um, as the wind blows the wind is really cracking there's another set down there you can see in the grass prevents the uh, prevents from the antenna from being torn apart in the wind uh, so there you go uh, I'll post the specs with a with a diagram so you can see exactly what it looks like seems to work really well with uh, you can see the two feed points there dangling in the wind uh, seems to work really well in the southwest. I'm having problems going northeast into Europe on 80 meters. Um, decoding signals on FT8, but I have to throw some power at them to get them. The signals are weak, uh, and I don't see a lot of stations working Europe, so I don't quite know what to make of it, but uh, the array is working very, very well. Uh, anyways, uh, at least to the southwest. Uh, so let's get inside, and we'll run through some things. Okay, we're going to do an SWR sweep on the new antenna system. Uh, I'll show you exactly how to do it on a 7300. Uh, what you want to do is you want to hit menu. Hit menu. In the top right corner, hit SWR. Okay. So you can set your... Uh, how many steps you want. Right there. Uh, the, how many steps and the step width. Uh, I have mine set to 50k and uh, 13 steps. So to sweep this, uh, I wanted it. Let me turn the volume down on it. Sorry. Um, to sweep this, uh, I, I want it resonant in the 3700 area right here. So it's going to start at 3500 and sweep to, to just below 3.0, uh, just below 4.0. Uh, so. Um, this is the DX uh, portion of the band. Uh, want it primarily for DXing. So this fires northeast and southwest, either either direction, switchable. So uh, we will do the sweep. So to activate the sweep, you just hit the play button. And then what you do is you hit the PTT. So we're going to sweep it. Here we go. Okay, there it is. Uh, so that's the, that's the SWR sweep. Um, that's from 3500, and as you can see, it's resonant right around uh, 3700, or close to resonance. Uh, don't worry too much about a high SWR with this system. Um, it's still below a 2 to 1 across, uh, or uh, yeah, oh, well below a 2 to 1 across the, that entire portion. Uh, that's all very usable bandwidth, so... Uh, at the point of resonance about 1.25 to 1, which isn't bad. So there you go. Uh, enjoy. Okay, we're going to do a front-to-back test. This is an AM station, 3875. One of them, this station right here, is very close to me, so it's pretty much NVIS. But the other station, you're not even going to believe the front-to-back on this. Uh, here we go. Give me a second here. Wait for the other station to key up. I'll let him go. Okay, here we go. Flipping. Check it out. 
he's gone. Going back the other way. <laughs> Is that ridiculous? Five over to the noise floor. That's uh, 20 to 25 dB front to back. Going again. Going back. Hard to believe. 